the moon is just so unbelievably cool. I mean, just look at it. Isn't it amazing? You know, yeah, this, this is just a drawing of it that I did, but if I took a picture of it on my phone, you all know it's gonna turn out looking pretty bad. Isn't it just incredible though? Every single night, we get the privilege to look outside and just see this beautiful, massive rock shining right at us. And listen, that's not even the most insane part about all of this. I don't know if you've heard about this, but us, dumb humans, actually managed to use our brains and get all the way over there, to the moon. Pfft, psych. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta look at all your faces. You actually thought that everything I just said to you is, is actually true, right? <laughs> Man, you're all just a bunch of dumb babies, aren't you? This is embarrassing. If I were in your shoes right now, I wouldn't have bought any of this. You know why? Because I get all of my facts strictly from Shane Dawson. Yeah, you know what? I'm actually gonna drop the act. I hate this video. It's a stupid, stupid video. Welcome to Theory Busters, everybody. This is my series in which I decide to debunk every single Shane Dawson theory video ever made because I thought it would be pretty funny and kind of petty. He has over a hundred of them, so, you know, it might take me a little while. Now, I don't want to be too much of a crazy theorist myself, but ever since I started this series, Shane has actually privated like 30 more of these type of videos of his. So, you know, I'm shaking things up. I feel like I need to be pretty quick with this series before this whole bridge of theory videos is gonna completely collapse underneath me and I fall into the abyss. Luckily though, this classified masterpiece of a video is still up. Now, because this is a space-themed video and all that, I decided to bring in my girlfriend, Jess, who's currently on her fourth year of studying astrophysics in university, to do this with me. Though she insisted that I put out a disclaimer that she's not a real expert on anything. Don't trust a word I have to say. So, you know, keep that in mind. So in this video, we're going to be busting a few theories. The main one being, was the moon landing just a just a big old prank? <laughs> There's another one about the moon just being a big, a big massive uh, soup bowl. And you know what? I think I'm gonna keep the rest of them as a bit of a secret. By the way, I had to censor a lot of what Jess said in this video because YouTube has a rule against calling people names. For example, you can't say something along the lines of, uh, yep, this man's an idiot. Yep, <laughs> this man's an idiot because it, it could get my video taken down, sadly enough. Anyways, this video begins the same way as a lot of Shane videos do. He says how this theory got into his life and how this one specifically is essentially what got him into this whole theory madness world. When Shane was just a little boy, he used to look up into the night sky, specifically at the moon, and he would say, hey, you're just a big bowl of soup, aren't you? And he starts explaining the reasoning behind all this theory and what was America's motive to, to pull this big prank on all of us. And honestly, even this very simple initial description of things kind of sucks. So why would the moon landing be fake? So back in the day, America really wanted to get to the moon first. They wanted to beat all the other countries. But technically, they didn't really have the technology to quite do that yet. So instead, they created it on a soundstage and they filmed it and they were like, hey, guess what? We were here first. This has to be the worst history lesson of all time. How is he saying this with so much confidence? The race to the moon wasn't about America wanting to be the coolest, and bestest country in the whole world. The specific conflict that majorly influenced the space race was the Cold War, the United States versus the Soviet Union. This would be a very good motive, even in this imaginary theory world. I don't get why he would not say that. It's just a bit odd to present that badly, but you know, I guess he doesn't really like the concept of research and all that. They filmed it and they were like, hey, guess what? We were here first. I hate this camera angle. I'm glad that this died out on YouTube. Like early YouTubers, like you're squatting over them like they're your little toddler child and I despise it. Have you seen the thumbnail for his new video? He's so close to the camera. Well, I'll send it over to you. Oh, yikes. And here's some of the reasons why people think it was fake. Number one, when they put the American flag in the moon, the flag started waving. But on the moon, there's no air in the atmosphere, so there's no wind. So technically the flag would not fucking wave. All right, Jess, you're an expert. Is there any air on the moon? <laughs> don't think so. <laughs> I'm not an expert. Don't t don't introduce me as an expert. I don't know anything. They have a little wee hole at the top. They didn't like stretch it out enough. So if they didn't have a horizontal pole at the top that's going sort of perpendicular to the ground, it would have just sink down and they wouldn't have got a good picture. So they've got like a 
another pole at the top. Yeah, that's that's exactly what happened. I never really thought about the pole in the top. I never really noticed it, but look, it's right there. You can see it. Apparently, the flag was all wrinkled up because it was screwed up for like four days while it was on its little trip to the moon. And yeah, that's that's just really it. Also, I don't know about you guys, but this clip of Shane Dawson stressing that there's no air on the moon is one of the funniest things I've seen this year. There's no air in the atmosphere. I played it there's over no and no over again like there's three no times in, in a row. It's magnificent. He's so well aware at how young his audience is that he's essentially talking to them as if they're little babies. I feel like one day Shane is just going to disappear like he never existed because he found out something he shouldn't have. What did he find out? That there's no air on the moon? Before anyone harasses me about it in the comment section? I know that the moon has a tiny little atmosphere. That's not why I found this funny. It's clearly all about the finger waving. But it was waving as if there was air. Check it out. He's just moving, the, he's just moving the pole. Um, hello. <laughs> that was fucking air, that was wind, that was an air conditioner from the set. Well, when people started questioning this, NASA was- If I see Shane Dawson in the street, I'm punch- No, you can't say that. <laughs> this is a message to Shane Dawson. If I see you in the street, I'm <laughs> You're gonna get my channel taken down, Jess. Come on. You could just bleep. You could just bleep me if it's against terms of service. But I want that on the record. Number two. Where the fuck are the stars? Um, if you're standing on the moon and you're. Oh my god. Oh my god. You are. An <laughs> I don't know anything about cameras. He's a YouTuber. He doesn't know anything about cameras. What's wrong with this man? <laughs> Wait, let's you... carry on. Wait, no, explain yourself. That's the point <laughs> that's the point of this. If you have loads of bright shit, then you change the exposure to see the bright shit. You can't see the dim shit mm -hmm. in the background. So yeah, I mean as Jess so adequately stated, the moon, as you might know, is unbelievably bright. The stars, on the other hand, are quite dim and far away. If you're standing on Earth in an area with lots of light pollution, your eyes or a camera will have a pretty hard time trying to see them. The most insane part about all this is that Shane Dawson essentially says the last fact I just said about light pollution. But for some reason, he doesn't see any correlation between that and what's going on in this pic. If you're standing on the moon and you're in the middle of outer space, wouldn't you be fucking surrounded by stars? I mean, shit, oh when you're God. in LA and there's like no smog that day, or when you're in New York and all the lights go out, you look up in the sky and you see stars. When you're in New York and all the lights go out, like he's literally <laughs> giving the answer to it himself. <laughs> now we can't let the thin atmosphere confuse us, this is the moon at midday. That's why everything is so bright, all the astronaut suits and everything. That's why we can literally just see things. The sun is shining right at the astronauts and is completely overshining all the dim little stars that are far away. Fun fact, it would actually be pretty easy to see the stars from the moon at nighttime, or if the astronauts were standing in a shadow where there's no light reflection. And hey, guess what? They've done that. Boom. Boom. After that though, the narrative of this video changes very quickly. Shane moves from claiming that these people who are behind all of this trickery are actually not big genius masterminds, but rather a group of bumbling idiots. Even though they had so much time to organize all of this, they managed to somehow leave this rock that's clearly, obviously marked with a C sign on the C spot. A lot of people think is that it was actually a prop, you know, just like you'd see on a movie set. And they lettered them and numbered all the rocks to make sure they were in the right place. So like the sea rock goes over the sea. Well, a set decorator must have accidentally forgot to turn the rock upside down. After Shane Dawson said this, I lost all of my respect for these space people. I thought they managed to pull off the greatest prank of all time, but somehow these dumbasses left the sea rock on the sea spot. What is this, amateur hour? At first when I heard this, I was like, I don't even need to bust this theory. It doesn't seem like that insane of a shape to exist in nature. But you know, just for fun, I looked it up and apparently, guess what? In the original image that was released from the moon landing, there is no goddamn sea shape on the goddamn sea rock. Look. It's just not there. What the hell? <laughs> what people say that probably happened is that in later reproductions of this very image that originally didn't include the C-shape, an eyelash or some kind of fabric or something fell on it. And thus, when the picture was printed, the sea rock was born. This is so dumb. Can you imagine an eyelash falls on a picture and decades later, some guy on the internet says that it's all part of a bigger scheme or whatever. 
I think it's fine not to believe everything that you're told, but there has to be some kind of logic to what you do end up believing in. If the alternative to believing in logical stuff is just a pile of nonsense, then what the hell are you even doing? And the last piece of evidence is what really creeps me out just thinking about it. So obviously if this was a set and it wasn't real, then they must have been on wires and they you know, weren't really anti-gravity, they were just pretending. Well, some of the footage of the moon landing and other moon landings has been looked at and people are claiming that they can see the wires. Take a look. I don't know. It just What? What was that last one? I didn't see anything. Well, I can't see it. I couldn't see anything in the first one either. That was just like a glare from the from the suit, wasn't it? Can you see something? I can't see anything. I'm pausing it like bit by bit. I don't know. It just... In this one, literally nothing. He doesn't know. He just said that. He doesn't know. I don't know. It... Before I get another batch of these stupid comments telling me that he doesn't actually believe in any of these theories himself, and that he's in on the joke, and that his fans are in on the joke and all that, I want to play you this clip. The moon landing being fake? kind of believe it. Well, there you guys go. Hopefully you enjoyed that. The guy literally said that he believes it himself. And regarding the fans being in on it, well, well, that's just not true. I decided to put on my Mr. YouTuber mask just so I could read some of these comments comments out for you guys. By the way, you should subscribe to my brand new Mr. Pinely channel right now, where I'm gonna be uploading a lot more videos with this face. So, pretty cool stuff, huh? You can find a link right there in the description. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Anyways, the reason I wanted to show these comments to you guys is because I feel like they serve some sort of proof that, you know, some of Shane Dawson's fans might be taking his theory videos a bit too seriously. Why do I take every theory as a fact? Love you, Shane. I would love to see him do a series on clouds and what they truly are. <laughs> They're just clouds. Now this next one is pretty good as well. Oof, the amount of fights I've gotten into because of Shane's theories. Don't do that. You know, you, you shouldn't get into fights defending any of this stupid nonsense. Imagine Shane Dawson decides to wake up one day and make this video, and then all of his fans are going around the world just completely embarrassing themselves. This is just so sad. Now, as you might have noticed, that comment did get quite a lot of likes, uh, over 200 of, of some nice likes, and it got quite a lot of replies too. So, you know, well, let's read some of these replies. Let's see if people agree with that statement or not. Same, I am currently having one with my mother. Her poor mom, she, she doesn't need to get involved with any of this. Next replies from a user called just a bitch in a cold-hearted world. Yeah, you can tell that this this person is a Shane Dawson fan. Actually, so fudging relatable. Pfft. Yeah. In it, though, I literally had a debate with my teacher. I'd quit, honestly. If I was a teacher and a kid came up to me saying all this stuff, and then their source is a Shane Dawson video, I'd quit. I, I'd, I'd realize that there's no hope for the youth anymore. And lastly, haha, -ha, same. Well, you know, it's been like three years, so we can all hope that these people grew up since then and that they don't believe in any of this stuff anymore. But hey, I don't know. Only thing I do know is that Shane Dawson is a total menace. Look at what he's done. Look at all these teachers and moms that, that need to deal with this stuff. This is horrible. Uh, this is not good at all. If you look really closely in the reflection of one of the astronauts' helmet, you can see a stage light hanging in front of him. <laughs> what? <laughs> I can't see a stage light. That looks like a smudge. Yeah, that's not a spaceship, that's not some UFO or an alien shuttle. That's a stage light. <laughs> and back in the 60s, they didn't... <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, because on the moon there's loads of alien shuttles that look like stage lights, and I would have believed it. <laughs> Speaking of stage lights, there's another piece of evidence that involves them. Now, if you're on the moon, the sun is like literally directly hitting you. So that would make every shadow go a certain way. For example, the light is hitting me right here, right? So my shadow is going behind me. My hand shadow is going behind me. But if there was a light up here and this light, it would make some shadows go behind me and some go in front of me. It would just make all the shadows go everywhere. Well, that's what started happening during the moon landing. Look at these pictures. The shadows are going in all different ways, which means they're not coming from the sun. They're coming from Lights, lights, lights everywhere. 
Yeah, that's just not how shadows actually work. First of all, the reason the shadows aren't parallel is very simple, and it, it happens here on Earth as well, especially when the sun is low. Because of, like, perspective and all that, when we take a three-dimensional object and reduce it into a two-dimensional thing, like a shadow, for example, all sorts of crazy, crazy things begin to happen. This is, like, one of those things that artists have been aware of for quite some time. Also, if this picture did have multiple light sources like Shane decides to claim, this, what we're seeing here, wouldn't be the result of that. If you have more than one light source, then we'd have a situation where one object ends up casting multiple shadows. You can even try this at home yourself. Look at this video I filmed. I have two light sources. One is the big flashlight from my phone, and the other is the lamp above my, my box head. And look at how crazy this is. My hand is now casting two shadows. There's a shadow on the wall and a shadow on the floor. Huh. Wow. After this, though, things in this video somehow manage to just get worse and worse. It just creeps me out so much. And it's not a shock because the government fakes so much shit. I mean, we've talked about, you know, 9 11 We've talked about <laughs> crisis. <laughs> Why wouldn't we do <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> it's the Shane Dawson Hall of Fame. You know, why wouldn't we fake that just to win over other countries? It makes you wonder, have we ever actually been to the moon? What if the moon is a hologram? What if it's not- oh! <laughs> <laughs> He's freestyling right now. <laughs> I'm weeping. I'm weeping. I have no faith in this world anymore. How many views does this have? Uh, let me check. Gonna not be popular. Uh, seven million. Oh, uh... What if the moon is a hologram and is controlled by the aliens? Stay with me. <laughs> and the aliens are like, fuck, people are figuring out it's a hologram. Hey guys, you need to make it look like you landed on the moon. We'll help you out. Here's some money. Go get a sound studio. He's saying that the aliens control the moon and they no, the told... the aliens yeah? have made the hologram... Or c get concentrate on. Okay, okay, I'm say. sorry. You gotta listen to this, man. <laughs> the aliens are making the hologram. Okay. They've made a hologram of the moon and they're worried that we found out so they've told NASA to fake landing on the moon so we don't realize that it's them who's made the hologram of it. Aha. Uh -huh. I don't know, that's a little crazy. Not as crazy as the theory that the moon is empty and aliens actually live inside of it. Or the theory that all the members of the body also live inside of the moon. Why is this all... Who's making would... these things up? I don't think it's possible for a, a gravitational... Like something that big would just collapse under its own gravity if it was that shape. I don't think that could exist. Those are a little crazy. The moon landing being fake, kind of believe it. Well, there you guys go. Welp, there we have it, folks. This is it. The moon is just a big fucking bowl of soup. It's the 26th of October. It's a Tuesday. It's 25 minutes past midnight. I, Jessica I'm launching a war against Shane Dawson. <laughs> I want to see him in <laughs> outside my house and I will joust him and it will be a battle to the death. Either way, subscribe, 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 subscribe. And if you want to have a little chat with me, feel free to follow me on Twitter at Pinely with two Ys and on Instagram at Pinely Box. I'm pretty responsive over there. If you reach the end of this video, try to sneak in the word a uh, bowl into your comments to confuse everyone else. And besides that, I still don't know what clouds are. Goodbye.